Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little weekend vlog. It's Friday night. It's very chilly outside. Is it like 40 degrees? It's 54. 54 degrees. It feels really chilly. It's windy and breezy. And we are just settling in. Riley just got home from work. Nora just woke up from her afternoon nap. We have some baked potatoes going in the air fryer. So I'll leave a link. It's not really a recipe, but I'll leave a link to that information below if you want to know how to do that. Nora really wants her daddy. You want your daddy? He had to go outside and turn the grill on. So we're having grilled chicken. There you go. There you go. <laughs> we're having grilled chicken for dinner with baked potatoes and some green beans. And I'm excited because I got this better than bouillon. Um, that's like a sauteed onion flavor that I'm gonna add in with the green beans. I think that's gonna be super delicious. And yeah, we're just gonna enjoy a cozy evening at home. Um, we have had a very, very, very long week. Riley was working until 1 a.m. last night at his studio, and I had our nanny come at 8 a.m. this morning, and she stayed most of the day, and you know, we're just both tired, and we've been working hard, so tonight's gonna be, and this weekend, um, a mix of relaxing and continuing to crank out work because we have some deadlines we've gotta hit and some things we've gotta get done. Anyway, welcome to our weekend. What do you think, Norny? You like your ball pit? Oh, where did Dada go? There he is, right there. All right, the potatoes are in there and we used some of this Flavor God Garlic Lovers seasoning on them. We put this on the out, we scrubbed the potatoes and then did some oil and some garlic lovers along with salt and pepper on the skins. So that should be really delicious. Riley has the chicken on the grill and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the kitchen because it is a bit of a disaster. All right, here's our dinner all hot and steamy. We have baked potato, grilled chicken, and some green beans, some different toppings here. And Norny's eating her own version. <laughs> right. All right, we are getting ready to head to bed here soon. It's only like nine o'clock, but we're all exhausted. So I'm making up some overnight oats for the morning, and we added some chia seeds this time. Riley has added chia seeds to his overnight oats before in the past. I never have tried them. But um, this is a half a cup of um, oats, a half a cup of almond milk, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, um, a half a cup of blueberries. You can add some maple syrup if you'd like or some kind of sweetener that you like. Um, we have some chia seeds, like I said, and some cinnamon, like at least a tablespoon of cinnamon in each one um, to really give it a good cinnamon flavor. So once they are well, and there are, like I've said in previous vlogs, there are just dozens and dozens and dozens of overnight oats recipes. Um, I'm going to add to this one this gingerbread cookie flavor god seasoning that I talked about in my last weekly vlog. It is so yummy. I'm just going to add a little dusting of it on top. And that way in the morning we'll have like blueberry, cinnamon, gingerbread, oats. That sounds pretty good, huh? Really yeah, so I'm gonna put these in the fr fridge and then you just let them sit overnight and the um, the milk basically makes the oats cooked. It like waterlogs the oats so they get nice and soft. And then we just eat ours cold, but you can totally pop it in the microwave if you want it to be warm. Um, but it's a really nice consistency. It tastes just like normal, normal oats, oatmeal. Um, and it's very filling, which I appreciate. You eat it, I eat it at like eight or nine, and I'm not hungry again until <gasps> noon or one. Right, no, no. So that's that, these are popping in, popping in the fridge. I got my cameraman with me. So come along, here's the fridge. We're gonna go right inside <laughs> there. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. 
So tomorrow morning, first thing, I have two back-to-back -back mentorship sessions over Zoom. So I'll be getting up around 7 a.m. and getting to those. And then the rest of the day, we'll probably be working on getting Etsy going um, and packaged and printed and finished. Right? Yeah. Oh, and we're going to make a pot of soup. We make soup so often. Mm -hmm. I talk about soup in every vlog. It's such a good staple in our family for the fall and winter. So we're gonna make a big thing of chicken noodle soup tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I got, we got um, magnetic locks for the the cabinets on here because Nora would always get into them when they have cleaners and stuff and she's starting to get a lot more bold. Yes. But um, they are the kind that have a magnet that um, unlocks them. And um, they're really great. Yeah. And you can you can turn them off so they don't lock too. If so. you ever didn't want them to lock at all. Yeah, but they're super easy and we put them on. All the cabinets are nice and safe now. Yeah. And they're a V, V. Oh, you got them from Amazon, right? Yeah, they just were the, like the first thing that popped up and there was 20 of them. So I figured I'd get a lot. I'll link it below. And obviously we can't give a, oh, our first review. Here we go. Look. Uh oh. <laughs> they work. We'll have to give a review over time to see if they stand the test of time, but this is the kind of cabinet lock that I always used when I was the preschool director at the church I used to work at and when I used to work in a daycare center, these are the kinds they use, so I feel like they're pretty solid. Um And that's the story, Nora. You don't have to do that thing where you like put your finger in there and push down like the old school ones. Yeah, yeah. And once you get used to, once you get accustomed to opening with the magnet, it's really fast uh, and easy. Except for that cabinet I do allow her to play in. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Nor Nor. Yeah, let me show you how you use it, Nor Nor. <laughs> Take the magnet. She's so smart, she'll probably start doing it, really. And put it right here. Oh boy. And pull. Oh, you did it. You did it! <laughs> She is allowed to play in this one because, as you can see, that she regularly plays in it. It's just our Tupperware. And it keeps her close to me while I cook. No, we don't want to lose that. Yeah, let's not lose that. That's really important to Dad. That would be pretty much critical. Of course, that's the only thing she wants. Now she doesn't care about anything else in the cabinet. How's that happening? What's going on? In other news, Riley has nearly lost 40 pounds. Yeah. I'm just about at 20 pounds that I've lost, but your is, yours is a lot more impressive. Yeah. But look, he had to get all new jeans. Yeah, my other, jeans, my other jeans felt so bad. They felt so big and baggy today. I was uncomfortable all day, so I came home and changed. Yeah. Thin guy jeans. You look great. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you, I'm proud of you. Wow. Nora, we're both proud of you. Good morning, it's Saturday now. I am preparing for my mentorship session here in a few minutes. I just made myself a big cup of coffee and grabbed my overnight oats, so I'm gonna enjoy those things, prep for this meeting, and um, I get to meet someone new. It's always really fun, so I'll check in with you guys after I have two back-to-back -back sessions, so I'll see you later in the day. Hey y'all, I'm finished with my meetings. It's about 12.15, I just ate lunch. Riley and Nora are sitting over here, we're just finishing up lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and get the chicken noodle soup going for the day. I use the same recipe every time. I've talked about it in a million different vlogs. I will leave it linked below, I'm not gonna go into it. Um, it's the Pioneer Woman chicken and noodles recipe without the flour at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started and then I have about 150 Etsy orders that I need to package up, so quite a few. So I'm gonna get cracking on that and then I want to lay down and take a nap, <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen today. We'll see. All right, I chopped up my onion, celery, and carrots for the soup, and I measured out my seasonings. I always like to do this so it's just easier. Um, we typically use frozen noodles, but Riley prefers this kind, he told me after the last time I made it with <laughs> the 
frozen noodles. He's like, I actually like just the regular kind of noodles better. So um, my sister-in-law gave this to us as a part of like a gift basket. So I'm going to break them up and use them. Um, I have all of the peelings and things here. And Riley just bought this scraper off of Amazon. Um, it is so great for cooking because after you chop up a vegetable or whatever, you can just scrape it all up and pop it into... Um, pop it into your bowl. So it's actually by the Amazon Basics brand. I'll link it below if you're interested. He bought it like a week or two ago and this is the first time I've ever used it. I really like it. And then the chicken is cooking there in the pot. So that's gonna go for about 45 minutes and then we're going to remove the chicken, pull the meat off of it, return the bones to the pot, make bone broth over the course of the next couple of hours and then towards the end you add these things. But I like to get them prepped so that they're ready. Now I'm gonna go work on Etsy for a while. I've been working for a while and then we took a family nap for about an hour and a half, two hours. And dinner just finished. This soup looks amazing. It looks so delicious, it smells so delicious. And then I'm just having some peanut butter crackers on the side, a little sweet to offset the salty. Although these are sweet, these are salty too. I don't know, they just seem to go together in my mind. Usually I do cheese and crackers, but I was craving peanut butter crackers instead. So this is my dinner. Um, Riley and Nora are having the same, so we're gonna enjoy it as a family. So I was on um, prison TikTok. <laughs> you were. <laughs> and they um, they do the peanut butter thing where you take a kind of empty thing of peanut butter and you spin it on the floor and it all moves up to the top of the thing and it looks like it's a full jar of peanut butter. What does that have to do with prison? Well, in prison TikTok they said they did that to hide things in the jar. Oh. So I want to. I really want to try it out. So we're gonna try it out. Oh! <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! It worked. <laughs> That's great. Did we show the inside before? Yeah. Wow! You can hide drugs in there, no problem. Riley, <laughs> that is not. <laughs> Nora, don't listen to him. Look at that. Wow! That's so cool. I'm so surprised that that worked. Me too. I thought everyone was lying. Well, there you go. Oh, now we can like an update from Riley and Blair Lamb, the founders of Prison TikTok. The TikTok <laughs> Peter Pan trick works. <laughs> ching ching. Mark it off your lists. Hey guys, it's about 11 o'clock p.m. now on Saturday night. It has been a good day, a very long day, and a very work-heavy Saturday. So obviously I got up pretty early and had two back-to-back -back mentorship sessions, which were really fun. And then throughout the day, I spent some time with Riley and Nora, um, but I also spent a large chunk of the day, to be honest, packaging orders. Um, it's coming to the end of, um, the fulfillment period for the orders that were placed as a part of my Christmas line launch, if that makes sense. So I have a lot more orders to package at one time than I typically would. Usually they're more spread out, but because I did a Christmas line launch and a sale about two to three weeks ago, all of these orders are now due to be shipped out. And so I am trying to get them up. I packaged up probably close to maybe 150 orders already. And I still have, I just printed off 30 more labels to do. And then I still have another 80 that I'd like to get done. Um, 
this weekend or maybe on Monday. So I have quite a few. I'm really grateful for the business and if you placed an order, yours very well might be in this stack and I can assure you that it has been packaged with lots of love and care and I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on these items, those of you who have ordered something. Um, I just love this Christmas line and I can't wait to see all the photos of y'all with your families and decorating your tree and just comfy and cozy, which is also a design, in your um, garments that you bought. So anyway, if you have supported my shop in that way or have purchased anything as a gift or for yourself I just want to thank you so so much tomorrow morning I have actually three mentorship sessions starting at 7 a.m. so that will be the very first thing that I have to do and then I'm gonna go ahead tomorrow morning and package up these last um, not last but these next 30 orders and then I'm gonna call it um, a day on work for tomorrow so hopefully by about noon tomorrow I can be finished with work and just enjoy some time to rest I'm pretty worn out and I've been dealing with allergies a lot, which I was talking about in my weekly vlog last week. And they're starting to get, like every day I'm feeling a little better, I think, as I got on a stronger allergy medication. And I think that's helping. And I also think that um, some of the allergen counts as the weather gets cool, cooler are going down some. They were just so, so high there for a minute. So I think that's helping too. Um, but still, if you have suffered from allergies, which I think most of us have at some point, it definitely wears you your body out. Like that heaviness in your sinuses and your body's really trying to kind of like fight against it so I've been trying to do everything I can to keep my immune system up and part of that has definitely been getting good night sleeps drinking lots of fluids all that kind of thing so I am going to go ahead and go to bed now that it's like 11 um, knowing that I have to get up relatively early tomorrow I mean I have to get up at six for me that's that's early um so that is the story of my Saturday one more thing I have to share, even though it's so sad. I was just sitting down to wrap up a couple of things on my computer and a calendar notification popped up and said that um, that was tied to the Gmail account that I used to book our Disney trip that we were supposed to be going on tomorrow. So it was a notification popping up saying, you're staying at Disney's Beach Club tomorrow. Um, and we are not. We are not. So I never talked about this trip online. I just said that we were planning, you know, months and months and months well before quarantine. Like, I think we booked it in February or January. We were planning on going to um, Disney World sometime in the fall. Well, we were going to leave tomorrow and go for a week, and we were going to spend Nora's first birthday in Disney World. Um, and obviously, it would be over Halloween because her birthday's on the 30th, and um, we we're going to do the not so scary. Halloween party and we're gonna stay at the beach club which is a resort that both of us have always especially me because I'm such a beach person we've always wanted to stay at and we're so looking forward to it so I'm a little bit sad it's it's not on my actual calendar but apparently there was a notification tied to that gmail account I guess and it popped through and I just thought like oh so we're doing something else really special for her birthday which I'll share more about but I just have to say there is a little bit of heartbreak there are bigger fish to fry in this world for sure but there's definitely a little bit of heartbreak still sometimes about all the little things that 2020 that have had to go differently in 2020 right I know all of us can relate to that and this is one of them for me we were really and Riley we were really really excited to take Nora for our first Disney trip so we're thinking um, we had thought about going in December but things are still so up and down that I think that's not gonna happen um, and so we are thinking sometime maybe sometime next spring um, or we might hold off and and do um, fall or winter of next of 2021 do you have a Disney trip on the books let me know I'm really looking forward to when we can actually go it's gonna taste even sweeter to walk down Main Street when we're finally able to go especially since this trip that I have been looking forward to for so many months is not able to happen I mean we could still go we've chosen not to so I don't want to end the day on a sad note but it came up and I thought there are so many people on YouTube who would understand my pain. <laughs> anyway, good night, y'all. See you tomorrow. <laughs> good morning. It's Sunday morning. Well, it's actually Sunday afternoon. It's about 12:30. I just wrapped up. I had three mentorship sessions, mentorship sessions this morning, starting at 7 a.m. So I just finished those. I'm gonna grab some leftover chicken noodle soup for lunch. I have about 30 Etsy orders I still would like to package today. Nora's fussing because we took away the real remote from her. Hi! 
And um, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day hanging out with my family. Having a big bowl of leftover soup, some peanut butter crackers, and a Diet Dr. Pepper for lunch. Here's my mountain of packages I've been working on, and we just unboxed Nora's new car seat. She's still in the Duna, and we're still gonna use it until she outgrows it. She still has a little while, but I wanted to get a um, car seat that wasn't, hi, that wasn't like um, a stroller, you know, just one of these anyway, and on Amazon Prime Day, they had this on sale for, what did I tell you, like $50 off or 100 bucks? It was a really good price, and this has excellent, excellent safety ratings. It's the Britax, what does it say on the outside? The Click Tight Convertible Car Seat. Can you see on the label what it's called? Like, is it the Marathon? There's different names. Marathon. Yeah, this is the Marathon. I can link it below if you're interested. Um, I've heard from a lot of moms that this is like an excellent, excellent car seat. Super, super, super safe and really easy to get your kiddos in and out of. The downside apparently is that it's super heavy and it's difficult um, to maneuver. Like if, you're, if you switch your car seats in and out of your cars a lot, but we don't. So we are gonna go ahead and install this in my car and we'll have this on one side of the car and the Duna on the other and we'll probably use both here for the next couple of months until she officially outgrows the Duna in which you know, at that time, of course, we'll switch over to just using this one, but I'm excited about it. It feels so sturdy. Nora, this looks comfy for you. Are you reading up on it? So yeah, she's getting so big. You're gonna be one soon, and this is your new car seat. Nora, what do you think? She seems really comfy, and it looks, I mean, it looks super supportive and comfortable. It was really easy to install. Do you like it? You ready to go on a little road trip sometime? Yes? No? <coughs> okay, Riley, now show everyone what you just did when you hugged me. <laughs> Please. It's so dumb. <laughs> but it's really funny, it made me laugh. And it, <laughs> more than that, it made you laugh. Yeah, I couldn't even push you because it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I love this woman! <laughs> I want to do that at the grocery store one time because they glare really embarrassed. Never do that at the grocery store. Or at somewhere, at some public place. <laughs> it would be very fun. Are you going to have a pickle? Pickle? Yes. Yes. Pickle? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here it comes. What do you think? Here you go. You gonna try that pickle? Mmm. Okay. Mm, yeah, I know. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead and try it. Nora, will you eat anything? Yes, you will eat anything. Here we have our, well, this is my very favorite thing to make in the air fryer. These are actually carrot fries. They look like sweet potato fries and they taste like sweet potato fries, but they are actually carrots. So this is from like whole carrots. We typically just use baby carrots because they're so much easier. But you toss them in a little drizzle of oil with Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, Parmesan cheese, um, what else, Rye? That's about it. That's about it. You could add any kind of seasoning that you like. Toss them and pop them in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes and they are amazing. They are so, so yummy. Mmm. -hmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Yum. All right, here's real life, like this ball pit and just stuff everywhere. But I wanted to show you, I just replaced the batteries in these little copper fairy lights that I, oh, that's hard to see, um, that I added to my mantle as a part of my fall decorating, which I have a video up here on my channel that's, she's pushing something on the floor and every time it runs into the wall she whines and screams so she's learning anyway I just replaced these so I think they've been uh, they go on every night for 
um, six hours. I, I have them set to the timer setting. So they go on every night for six hours and I just had to replace the batteries and it's been, I think about a month. Um, so I feel like that was pretty, that's pretty good. So I'll just let them keep going and then when they fade out again, I'll replace them again. But I love having them, they flick on every night around 6.30 and it just makes such a cozy, you know, feel back here in this den. Nora, what's the situation? Are you in your Burt's Bees um, Halloween pajamas? You sure are, my big girl. Look at these PJs. They're so, so cute. They have little Halloween candy on them. All right, I just finished wrapping Nora's gifts. The only gift from Riley and I is this one, and we, or I shared this one in my last weekly vlog, which is, it's a little figurine set of little figurines from the TV show Bluey, which Nora loves. She just loves the music and everything else. And then the others are were sent to Nora from her family across the country, and so I told them I would wrap them for her. So this one, or wrap the presents for Nora for them. Does that make sense? So this is from my sister and her husband and Nora's cousin, and um, it's one of those play cubes that has like the different little things on top and you can, they can play, pull up on it and play. Nora's fussing because Riley's folding laundry and he, clo he locked her out of the, he closed her out of the room. So she's stuck here and she wants to be in there. Do you want to be in there with Dad, Dad? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Um, and then this and this one are both from um, from my parents, which are to Nora, Grammy, and Pop Pop. So this is one of those wooden fruit sets that with the Velcro, so you can cut the fruit in half. And this is a little push shopping cart that Nora can walk around with. So she'll have a few little gifts to open on her first birthday this coming Friday. And um, I wanted to get them all wrapped up just so I could look at them all week and just get excited for her first birthday. So pretty, so that's what I've been up to the past few minutes. Before I forget, I want to go ahead and share about this pillow. This is not sponsored. I have been on YouTube for three or four years now. I think four years, and I have had one sponsored video. So don't worry. I will always be super clear if it is sponsored, but this is not. This is um, a company that I came across on Instagram. It's called Sutera, and they make pillows. Now, I do have scoliosis, which is curvature of the spine. It's not something that heavily impacts my day-to-day -day life because I have learned ways to manage it. But because of that, I often have neck and shoulder pain, especially if I sleep funny, um, just because my body is naturally misaligned. So I really have loved this. I've had it for two weeks and I've been holding off on sharing about it because I wanted to use it for a couple of weeks and make sure that I liked it over time, although I really did like it right away. So I have a pillowcase, there's no pillowcase on this, so I can really show you kind of the contour of the pillow. So first of all, here, um, this is where your neck goes, and so if you're laying on your back, there's like a divot here so that your head is cradled in between sort of these two mounds on either side, and it's really comfortable if you are a back sleeper. I alternate between being a back and a side sleeper. So if you're a side sleeper, which is more where I, you know, I... I'm more prone to side sleeping. It's really comfortable because there are these divots. So you put your head here, if let's say your nose is facing this way, you can put your arm up under the pillow without kind of like jacking your shoulder out of a natural position because there's a cutout here. And then you can actually go ahead and put your arm up like this. I have my, um, text showing. You can actually put your arm up like this while your head is here and it's like a really comfortable way to sort of like hug the pillow and you can do that on either side. Um, and it is just so stinking comfortable. I was waking up with lots of neck and shoulder pain and I, it has, I have seen a dramatic reduction in that pain since I started using this pillow and it's like a nice memory foam um, but it's not too firm but I feel like it just I just really like it. So if you're in the market for a pillow or with the holidays coming up, nice pillows like this. I believe this was around, I've had it for a few weeks and I ordered it probably a month ago. 
maybe the $45 range or so. Um, so it's it's not inexpensive, but if you are someone who's used to buying high-end pillows, it's probably in the middle ground range. There are some, you know, like Tempur-Pedic and things like that can be much more expensive. But for the holidays, this is a great gift. I actually gave Riley a high-end pillow from the brand Casper for... I think Valentine's Day maybe this year and he absolutely loves it and it's something he wouldn't have bought for himself because I think it was like $60 or something like that so that was my gift to him. Anyway, really really like this for neck pain, suffers and things like that. It's very comfortable. It definitely does have a money back guarantee. I don't think it says it here on the box but I know that... Um, I know that when I was buying it, that was one of the reasons why I felt comfortable buying it was because I knew if I tried it out and I didn't like it, it's like a 30-day or 45-day money-back guarantee. So anyway, check out Sutera if you've never heard of them and um, if a pillow like this sounds comfortable, particularly if you're a side sleeper, which like I said, that's my go-to. Um, having these little cutouts so that your arm can kind of like hug around the pillow in a comfortable, natural way rather than kind of being jerked under a traditional pillow, really comfortable. So... There's my little pillow plug for the day. I don't know if they have a referral program or anything like that to where I could offer you a coupon code or a discount. I'll look into it if I can. I'll add that um, below. Otherwise, I'll just add the link to the website and you guys can check them out yourselves. Hey y'all, it is about 10.30 p.m. I just got out of the shower because remember how yesterday I said, oh, I'm totally gonna take a shower. Um, either tonight or tomorrow morning. Well, that got postponed just about 24 hours because I just took one now. That's definitely one of those things that falls into the category of mom life. Wanting to shower and then it taking 12 to 24 hours longer before I actually get my feet into the shower and turn on the water. Anyway, I'm sitting here. I removed my dashing diva nails that I had on from um, last week I had a color on called Rose Quartz. If you are new here, I've been talking about these for the past couple of vlogs and these are gel nail strips. And this week, because it is Halloween on Friday, let's see if we can get it to focus. This is a Midnight Navy. Navy blue is actually my favorite color. It's a bit darker than I would typically wear on my nails, but I thought for Halloween it's, um, it's kind of it would be kind of fun. So this is called Midnight Blue. So I already prepped my fingernails. I clipped them and filed them and washed them and it's good to use a little bit of acetone nail polish remover just to get all the oils off your nails so that these will stick. When I got mine off this afternoon, they've been on for exactly a week. I put them on last Sunday. They um, were still in really good condition. I could have probably kept them on for a few more days, but um, I knew that I wanted to do a new set tonight. So I decided to take them off. I've been so, so happy with these. I will leave a link below. Um, you can buy them online through the website and you get 15% off your first order. And I think like free shipping, if you spend $15 or more in each set, I believe is somewhere between like seven and $8. So basically if you buy like two sets um, of, of the strips, you get free shipping. The cool thing is, is that each one of these little packs, this is not sponsored, this is just something I'm really loving. Um, each one of these packs comes with actually 27, let me show you, 27 different nail polish strips, see? Not just, you know, the 10 that you need. So you can really get two manicures out of just one. And then if you were willing to mix and match colors or styles, you could, between two different kits, um, you could get, what, like five, manicures out of two kits so anyway my point is i feel like it's a pretty good deal and considering the fact that i wash my hands constantly with a baby i'm always washing my hands after i change her diaper and during you know this 2020 year i'm washing my hands all the time anyway and i feel like they hold up super super well so anyway i'm going to try out this midnight navy and apply them here to my nails and i'll show you what they look like afterwards but i'm looking forward to seeing you know seeing what these look like because i feel like I feel like these are gonna be kind of neat for Halloween, so let's get to it. All 
All right, here's the finished product. I think these are just perfect for Halloween this week, this darker, um, sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus, but it's hard with this nighttime lighting. Um, this dark midnight blue, I feel like is perfect for Halloween. So those look really nice. It's, they're just so easy. I really like them. So I'll leave a link below like, like I have been. Um, and like I said, the ones that I just used now, these are called midnight blue. All right, y'all, well, I'm gonna head to bed now and I will go ahead and wrap up this vlog in the morning. I'll see if I have any last minute things that I wanna share with you before I do go ahead and wrap this up. But thanks for following along this weekend. I always enjoy filming over the weekend, especially when it's a weekend like this one that we've just had where it's kind of more like an extended week. Um, we didn't get a whole bunch of big breaks and so filming kind of breaks up the day and kind of gives me something to share which is fun um, even though you know lots of meetings lots of Etsy things like that but we have a really fun week ahead of us because it's Nora's first birthday on Friday so I will definitely be filming more throughout this week but like I said I'll wrap up the vlog tomorrow morning thanks so much for following along as far as you have so far <laughs> Hey guys, it's about 11.20 now on Monday morning and I'm up at the studio working on a few things with Riley, um, with Nora at home with her nanny. Riley and I just ran out and voted. We did early voting. So if you are in the US, make sure that you go ahead and mail your ballot in or go an early vote or um, if you're gonna vote you know, on the day of, that's great too. But this is a big election so make sure you're going out and voting if you are in the US. Um, so we went and did that and now I'm gonna head over and pick up a few things from Walmart um, and then I'm gonna head home because I have to relieve the nanny in about an hour and um, I'm going to get Nora's photos I printed them through like Walmart photos so I'll show you those once I get them they're super cute for a little banner I'm doing at her little small birthday party it's you know her newborn picture and then one month two month three month I think I showed that banner in a previous vlog so I'm gonna go ahead and do that all right, I just got home from Walmart and I was gonna show you my little Walmart haul. I guess this is a new part of my vlogs. So I went to the photo center and picked up these photos. So you can see newborn, one month, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. How cute is this girl? Um, and then I picked up, I needed some more deodorant. This is that Mucinex Night Shift. That's my phone um, that I have been taking to help with my allergies, I really like it. So that's that. And then I just got some cough drops. We feed Nora like adult, normal adult food. Like if we're having chicken, we cut up chicken and give it to her. If we're having spaghetti and meatballs, we cut that up and give it to her. But I always like to have some baby snacks. So some banana cookies, some strawberry yogurt melts, and um, some little crunchies. I got a couple new candles. Um, we've had spiced pumpkin before. I really, really like this one for the fall. And this one is by Better Homes and Gardens and it's called Red Lava Citrus. And this smells to me very, very similar to the volcano candles, like what you can get at Anthropology, which is probably my favorite candle scent. Wow, it smells really similar. So I'm excited to see if when I burn it, it still smells similar. I got Nora a couple of pairs of leggings. I love these Granima leggings from Walmart. They're very, very affordable. They're $3.98 a pair. They have little ruffles on the booty, and so I got her like a maroon, dark purpley pair, and then like a jegging jean pair. She wears these a lot. Um, I find the stiffer, like more traditional jean styles um, are don't work as well because she's just moving and crawling so much. And then I just got a couple of food items. I got some steaks to make for dinner tonight with baked potatoes and then I already have green beans. And um, we were out of milk so I got some more unsweet vanilla almond milk and then some sour cream. So there's my little Walmart, you know, haul is probably not the right word, but my little shopping trip to Walmart. It is like the coziest day today. It's chilly, it's only 45 degrees, which for Texas is quite chilly. And um, it's overcast and it's been pouring down rain since we woke up this morning. So it's been a really cozy day. Um, I've been out and about getting things done, but now I'm settled in at home with my Nor Nor and we're just gonna spend some time together. She's about ready to go down for a nap. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thanks so much for following along <gasps> with us, with me and my family this weekend. And um, next week's vlog that comes out on Sunday will be a very special one because Nora's birthday is this week, right? So that's the next thing you can expect on my channel. I'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and comments are still acting funky, so if they're disabled, that's why. Um, once those get sorted, comments will be back. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.